We are gathered together on this fine day, <laughs> May 23rd, 2020. Oh wait, hang on. Okay, oh wait, March 20th, 2021? Hold on. Oh, okay, sorry. Today, June 18th, 2022. First and foremost, on behalf of Alec and Holly, I do want to extend my thanks for everybody attending this evening. Um, you've all done an absolutely wonderful job of keeping every weekend for the past two years wide open. Um, so thank you so much. We appreciate that. One of the things I admire about you both, besides how cool you are, I mean, have you seen their tattoos? Um, I admire how you both are your own people while being together, which it is such an important thing to allow your partner the space to be themselves always. And along with that, there is a friendship in your partnership. Like when we went to take pictures, I noticed you guys would always fist bump about the most random of things. <laughs> that friendship and understanding is a key ingredient when doing life with someone. At first, Holly was pretty quiet about dating this new boy, Alec. In fact, she didn't even tell me, and I had to sit her down to say, I know about Alec and she said you know about Alec I said I know everything <laughs> and then eventually I was invited to hang out with the both of them it was a huge deal and we went to see Frozen and I'm pretty sure afterwards we went to Steak and Shake and Alec checked all the boxes he was the best third wheel I've ever met I saw a quote that said, the best marriage in the world is two servants in love. I think Holly and Alec exemplify this. I am so proud of the woman Holly has become. She's a role model in how she carries herself and cares for Alec. And then Alec loves Holly so much. He does anything for her. He even danced in the Nutcracker Ballet for her. Uh, we met in a uh, seventh grade band. I played the alto saxophone, and I was in dead last chair, and he played the baritone and sat right next to me, and he was in first chair. Um, however, his first chair baritone's like really not impressive, um, because he was also the only baritone. So the argument could be made that we were both last chair, um, and that's the one that I'm gonna keep it to, though. Um, I care, and I love this man very dearly and being able to be his friend is like having a brother which I don't have. partner has been one of the greatest joys and honor of my life. While I would love to credit even a fraction of who you are today to myself, that's simply not the case. Something I really love about you is your intentionality with others and how selective you are about the people you surround yourself with. Holly, thank you for lying to me about how you needed help with your Miss Stars Mill performance music. <laughs> you asking me that gave me the excuse to start chatting you up over Christmas break. And that's when I knew I couldn't let that be a passing favor. As individuals, we've experienced some challenging times, from living in a really small, crappy apartment, <laughs> postponing our wedding twice, and navigating a pandemic together. However, when I think back on all of the challenges we've been through, it makes the fun and happy memories that much more beautiful. These last two years have been hard, but I know they have made both of us stronger individually and together. From crappy apartments to, <laughs> to trivia during long drives, um, you have been my escape as well as my home. I promise to continually push myself to be a good listener and to be intentional with my words. I promise to grow alongside you for the rest of our lives. I promise to take interest in what interests you. However, I'm now interested in video games and watching streams, so I'm not sure if that's good or bad. <laughs> and lastly, I promise to act surprised when you tell me a song is from Guitar Hero. And when you say Zaxby sounds good for dinner. 
You've taught me how to communicate better, how to be more confident within myself, and how to pronounce the flower chamomile. I can't imagine it yet, but I can't wait to love you more and more for the rest of our lives. I feel like I've been uncertain about a lot of things in my life, and still am, but I've never had a doubt about me and you. I love you. May age deepen your connection and bring your laughter more frequent. May you live on, laugh on, and love on. <laughs> and may you continue on as Mr. and Mrs. Toth. Um, so you too may now fist bump. Just kidding. <laughs> uh, you know what to do. <laughs> I now introduce for the first time in front of all their friends and family, Mr. and Mrs. Toth. Let's celebrate. <laughs> As you can see with all the, the albums, the record albums uh, on the tables, you can see that uh, Alec and Holly have a love for music. One of Alec's uh, first concerts was Vampire Weekend, and yes, he did come with me. And I tried to kind of be a little reserved, uh, not to embarrass him too much, and, um, and, and obviously that did not change his love of music or going to concerts. Uh, he just found someone a whole lot prettier to go with. Alec and Holly, I feel very blessed to have you both in my life. I'm very grateful for you. The two of them are a wonderful couple together who are somehow able to make one another better while keeping the individuals that they actually are. And I think that that's something that's incredibly hard and challenging to do. Um, so I think I can speak for everyone when I say I am so happy to finally be able to celebrate this day with the both of you and love you both very much. <laughs>